overpricing your property, which sounds like a really good idea, is really a bad idea. So let's say, for example, the property should rent for $1,500 a month, and you decide that since you put uh, travertine tile in, you spent a lot of money, you bought a Bosch refrigerator for $4,000, that it's going to rent for a lot more. It won't. So what's going to happen is I'm a person looking for a property, and my budget is $1,500 a month. Well, your hope was that I would realize this is a great property, I would negotiate with you, and you could get $16 or $17 a month. And it doesn't work that way. So what happens is that if I can spend $1,500 a month, I'm eliminating everything above. So your property never got considered. When people who were looking for properties in the $1,800 to $2,000 a month compare yours to the others, yours looks inferior, so they're not going to look at it either. So by overpricing your property, when you thought you were going to get to negotiate something and get a higher rent, what you've done is you've eliminated it from everybody. So over time, you start dropping the property price. And finally, when you get down to what is market level, it still doesn't rent. Why? People assume that if a property has been on the market a long time and it hasn't rented, there's something wrong with it. And they're not going to go out and look at a property they know is defective in some way. So what you now have to do is instead of 1500 you have to drop it to 1400 because now somebody is willing to take a chance and go look at it. So by pricing your property too high to start with, you're going to get a lower rent than if you put it at the right price to start with.